Welcome to 5 Years Family Assembly. Today we will be informing you on matters of history and our focus will be famous black people and their contribution to a world of no prejudice or hatred. This links to our rights of the child and in, in particular Article 30, children in mi minority or indigenous groups. Let's have a look at some of the famous people we have been talking about in school. Mary C. Cole was a nurse and entrepreneur born in 1805 to a Scottish mother and father. From early age she learned healing and medicines with her mother who kept a boarding house for soldiers. Throughout her married life, Mary travelled across Central America and Britain, gaining knowledge of new medicine techniques to supplement her already learned herbal remedies. In 1853, the Crimean War broke out and Mary wanted to enlist as a military nurse to help the wounded. But her application for the British War Office was refused due to the colour of her skin. Despite this, Mary travelled to the Crimean Peninsula and set up a hotel and a boarding house. She provided food and water for the wounded soldiers and was later repaid by the injured. She helped from struggling herself. From an early age, Rosa protested the rules of segregation and set off on a lifelong mission to change the way society treated her. After a long shift in work, Rosa found herself a seat on a bus home. She was forced to stand up when the right section of the bus became full and stands climbed at the back of the bus in the back section. Enough was enough, Rosa refused to give up a seat. She was later arrested and jailed for this incident. Her refusal captured the attention of the entire country. Martin Luther King Jr. called for a boycott of all public transport in Montgomery. This set off a chain reaction across the United States as part of the civil rights movement. So, Sojourney Truth was an African-American woman's rights activist who lived a terrible life as a slave, serving many masters before escaping to freedom in 1826. Truth became a Christian and preached about equal rights for all. She continued to fight for a better society for the rest of her life. During the Civil War, she helped to recruit black soldiers and also worked hard to provide food, clothing and other supplies for black refugees. American President Abraham Lincoln invited Truth to the White House in 1864 and showed her a Bible he was given by African Americans. Truth left behind a legacy of courage, faith and fighting for what's right and honourable. Finally, a breakthrough determination and hard work of the people of the past that has led to successful stories such as Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey's American talk show host, television producer, actress, author and philanthropist. Oprah is especially important because she's one of the world's leading black billionaires who is recognised around the world. Oprah has stated that her success has kept coming after a difficult childhood. Oprah says, think like a queen, a queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another step in terms of greatness. Following on from the success of Oprah and shifting civil rights, we would now like to share some other successes in black history. Alfie Gibson was the number one American sportswoman who became the first African American woman to be a competitor on the world tennis tour. For two years, Gibson remained in the top 10 of the tennis rankings, reaching number one in 1957. In 1957, Althea became the first African American woman to win the British title. She won again in 1958. Gibson became the first African American woman to join the, the Ladies Professional Golf Association tournament in. 1964, in retirement, Gibson wrote her autobiography 
and in 1959 the Golden Allen 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 Henry Brown was a slave. Henry escaped to freedom by mailing himself in a box. The conditions in the box were very poor, but sometimes he found himself upside down. Brown became a magician, and some of his acts are still used today. For a short time, Brown became a noted speaker in the USA. All of these inspirational people remind us of the story of Joshua and Caleb, who didn't listen to the negativity when they traveled to Canaan. After Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, God led them through deep forests and jungles into the land of Canaan, the land which he had promised to them. When the whole nation of Israel camped at the edge of the land of Canaan, Moses sent one man from each of the twelve tribes of Israel to go to Canaan and explore Canaan and find out everything about it as God had commanded. It was important for Moses to know the number of people who lived there, how they were, if the soil was fertile enough for them to grow good crops, and also what fruits and vegetables could grow on that soil. So, the spy sneaked into the land and explored it for 40 days. After 40 days, they came back to report to Moses with samples of fruits and a huge cluster of juicy grapes. The whole nation of Israel gathered and were more than eager to know what the spies had to say about Canaan. The spies said, The land of Canaan is magnificent. The soil is healthy and it grows healthy crops like we've never seen before. And they showed them the fruits they had gathered. But the people living there are like giants. They said, Ten of the twelve spies said, we felt like grasshoppers next to the people of Canaan. They're very strong and powerful, and the city is protected with strong walls. There's hardly any way we could take this land. Only two spies out of the twelve, Joshua and Caleb, said, It's true that the people of Canaan are strong and powerful, and there are many of them, but we can't win against them. After all, God is on our side. Come on, let's all be courageous and do it. However, the Israelites followed the ten frightened spies and refused to take Canaan in spite of seeing all the miracles God had done. This made God angry that the people of Israel did not have faith in him. He said that the present generation of Israelites will die before the nation is allowed entry into the promised land. He also said that the whole nation will wander in the forests and the jungles for 40 years. Only Joshua and Caleb will be allowed to enter. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for having clean water and food. I am thankful for having whites and black people treated the same as white people. Amen. Dear Lord, make us thankful. Thankful for my friends, family and talents. Thankful for the air I breathe and for my feelings like fear and happiness. Let me live in peace. Thank you. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for my loving parents and my talents that I've been gifted. Thank you for all the courageous heroes that have lived before me and the people that have changed black, black society. Amen. Yes, I think to myself.